Yeah, go ahead. Uh, unleash all of the spears that you can. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I put my southern expansion plans on a very brief hold while I get some cavalry over here to Kuga. That's what uh, these units are here, and Ang Hall is actually going to get him a couple of units as well. Now, if you're wondering where did all of his troops go, because he used to have a, I think it was a full stack, or at least it was very nearly a full stack, I actually sent them over here to the outpost of Dol Baran, basically to reinforce uh, Waka's army. Now, Waka himself has actually also been re reinforced with troops from Dunfreka and some mercenaries. As you can see, I think we have a couple more than we did last time. So basically what we're going to do here is, as you can see, the Rohirrim haven't moved too far away. Though they have moved a little closer to Dunfreka, which makes me think that that's going to be their next target. So since we have nearly a full stack here, and since we do have some spearmen again, I think we should try and attack them. Now I say we have some spearmen, but to be honest, they don't actually have a lot of cavalry. I've got my spy standing right next to them here, or scout. Yes, my scout standing right next to them here, and you can see they've got three cavalry units, two of which are archers. Though in this mod, I definitely have noticed, I think it was mentioned in a video that I saw, that archery units are not necessarily bad melee units. And that's true of my guys too. Like 10 and 12 isn't so bad when you think when you compare it to the tribal spearmen. They actually have slightly more attack, though a lot less defense. But like if you look at these guys, 15 and 14, you know, that's that's not so bad. 13, 14, that's not so bad either. So anyway, what I'm thinking is, is we attack this smaller force right here and see if we can maybe quickly wipe them out before the other army really gets onto the field. And I guess that does assume that they stand and fight. I kind of think that they will, but I guess if they don't, then we'll still attack the other force anyways. But it would be kind of nice if we could just kind of isolate these three units and eliminate them before the rest of the troops get onto the field here. And let's see, I don't remember if I saved or not. Always save before and after every battle. In case, you know, terrible glitches and crashes and what have you occur. So, attack, and they stood and fought. Okay, good, good. Well, I say good. <laughs> I, I hope it's I hope it's good. We'll we'll find out here if it's good or not. So the plan is again to just quickly try and wipe out these three units as quickly as possible before their reinforcements get onto the battlefield. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. Now, I do have the battle paused here for a minute so that I can explain what exactly is going on here. Now, unfortunately, the enemy army has actually positioned itself on this hill and just behind them is where the reinforcements are going to come onto the battlefield. So eliminating these guys before the reinforcements get onto the battlefield is basically going to be impossible. Now I am going to send my cavalry forward a bit in the hopes that I can still maybe cause some damage before the reinforcements join them. But to be honest, um, you know, the more I stare at it, the more I think that that's pointless, because, I mean, literally, the reinforcements are a few steps behind them, whereas my cavalry are all the way over there. What I might just do instead is, let's just have our cavalry just kind of line up behind the infantry over here. My other idea was, is that if we attacked them up on that hill, then maybe we could lure them down over here to attack the infantry over here. And we might still do that if it turns out they actually just decide to stay up on that hill. Because remember, they are the defenders, so they don't have to attack us if they don't want to. All right, well, anyway, let's go ahead and begin the battle. Let's see what they end up doing.
Now, is it the AI just really smart or something in this mod? Well, I say really smart. Smarter than, I guess, in the base game, because I don't seem to remember. Are they doing this on purpose? Where, like, oh, yeah, our reinforcements are definitely going to come from this corner, so let's put our main army here so that the reinforcements are just instantly there. Like, did they do that on purpose? Or is it just happenstance? Because, I mean, this is like a big hill that kind of commands the battlefield, so maybe the AI just said, hey, look, a big uh, hill that commands the battlefield. Let's just put our troops up there, and it just so happens that the reinforcements were coming from that direction as well. All right, so we're going to let them form up here and then see if they will oblige us and charge forward. If not, then I may have to have my cavalry try and, like, convince them to leave that, that hill. Maybe I'll have the cavalry kind of come over here. Because then that way they're not, my guys aren't charging up a hill. They're kind of charging across a, well, I mean, I guess it's a little bit uphill, but it's mostly flat. We can have them just kind of attack this flank of their army here and see if we can lure the army to try and come down here and fight our infantry. And actually, it looks like they've finished forming up and they have no intention of coming after us. So, let's get our cavalry over here. Actually, I guess it is going to take me a bit to get my troops in position here. So once again, I will just let you go and bring you back once we're ready to hit the flank of their army. Okay, guys, welcome back. As you can see, their units are kind of in a bit of a disorderly state here. Mostly because they kind of were all facing us. Right, we're going to try and chase down some of these guys, at least. Okay. I'm going to lure them back. And we lost that skirmisher unit because I wasn't paying attention. All right, we've gotten them to run, that's good. Okay, let's fall back now. Oh, no, run away. For some reason I keep hitting the R key to tell them to run, but they don't actually like run, run. What we're going to do now is try and surround this unit here, and we're going to get our general out of there because that's not good, <laughs> him losing his bodyguard like that. All right, attack from the rear. Good. Now get out of there. Get out of there. Enemy commander slain. Okay, good, good. And it looks like they're running. Okay, we succeeded in eliminating their cavalry. Or most of their cavalry. I guess they still have that scout unit over there. Okay, let's get the general back down here. And let's actually get the rest of our cavalry out of here as well. I guess we could lure the rest of their archers into range of our own archers, because it looks like we do absolutely have their attention. They are sending their cavalry forward, or their army forward, not just their cavalry. 
Not sure that was a fair trade, though. I mean, we do still have some cavalry units that are more or less intact, so eh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So now the question is, what are they going to do? Are they going to keep coming forward? That would be nice if they did. It is also possible that I haven't succeeded in getting them to fully come off of that hill. Wait a minute. How are our archers being shot? Okay, now this is interesting. They've got a bowman unit that's just kind of running ahead of the rest of the army. We could have our cavalry step out from behind the lines then and take them out. Well, except for the general. His bodyguard has basically been obliterated. So let's actually have him just kind of stay back here. And of course, we did lose one of our units of Dunlending Horsemen. Why is it when... I have to hit R like three times to get them to continue going forward. Oh, wow. They're able to fire from all the way back there. Oh, they fire one shot and then they start running. We'll have none of that. <laughs> Of course, our cavalry are going to be, yes, very tired from all the running they've been doing. Oh, they're actually fleeing. They're leaving the battlefield. All right, well, quick, go and let's let's get this archer unit, at least. I wonder if we could catch... Okay, these are axemen. No, no, keep charging. Get, get all the way in there and attack them. Wavering, broken. Okay, good. It looks like that's probably the only unit of theirs we'll be able to catch. There's only one guy left. I guess we could try. Oh, crap. They've basically already made it off the battlefield because the line's like right here. Or at least I assume it is because my camera can't go beyond it. Now hunt them down. <laughs> All right, well. I guess they didn't go exactly as I had planned. I thought they would stand and fight for basically the whole battle. Wait a minute. We have a couple more units over here. Oh dang, there was another Bowman unit over there that I didn't see. All right, well, let's see if we can catch at least maybe this unit. I know there's spearmen, but I bet you they're scared as all get out and will probably just run after we give them just a little bit of a tap. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Give them a nice charge in the rear. If they got to throw spears, even though we were in the middle of engaging them. Oh boy, okay, nope. 
Bad idea. Retreat. Retreat. I didn't think they would be able to just turn around and throw their spears, to be honest. Well, that was a waste of perfectly good cavalry. <laughs> I thought once we had them in melee, they wouldn't be able to just throw their spears like that. Then again, that unit was already pretty low, so I guess that's probably why. I don't think we did much damage to the unit, either. I mean, we killed a few of them, but only a few. They definitely got more of our cavalry. Alright, well, it looks like um, we're just going to be waiting here for them to flee off the battlefield. I'll just speed it up as they should be, there we go, off the battlefield. 286. So for the first time, we were actually able to kill more of them than they killed of us. Though I think that was only because we managed to catch that, um, that archer unit. You see, this Riders of the Eisenmarch unit has like 172 kills and they've got 92. I bet you a lot of those are actually that archer unit we caught there at the end. I mean, I guess it's not a terrible battle, but I was sort of hoping I could lure them off the hill and kill more of them, especially more of their infantry. But oh well, I guess that is what it is. So let's take this back to the campaign map. Well, it looks like we managed to get most of our Dunlending horsemen back. That's pretty good. Oh, right. We can actually get some... some cavalry mercenaries. Oh, but they're so expensive. But maybe I kind of need them? Let's see, how good are they actually compared to the Riders of the Eisenmarch? Let's see, 14, 25... Actually, they, they just, they are better in pretty much every way. Except for maybe price. See, I can't remember how many units, or how many guys this unit started off with. I think it was 120, probably. Or no, it was uh, it was 104 was how many they started off with. They also have a slightly higher unit count. I mean, I guess I'll consider them. I'm not in dire need of cavalry now. I've still technically got all four of my units, but this one's pretty damaged. I mean, they've all been pretty damaged to some degree. But now I think we could reach the Hornburg and put it under siege. I have my scout here. What I want to see is, okay, they don't appear to have, like, a huge force nearby. But at the same time, they definitely could send troops to the Hornburg to reinforce it. Oh, and actually, they've got this force here. I almost didn't see those guys. Oh, yay! <laughs> More cavalry! Ah! I know they're the Rohirrim. I know they have cavalry, but still, it doesn't make it any less painful when you see it. The question, should I... See, if I just fall back to the bridge, though, then, like, what will I have accomplished? I wouldn't have accomplished anything, really. At the same time, I don't think I can hold the Hornburg under siege if there's all these troops ready to come up and help defend it, or attack me in the rear or something. Actually, the Hornburg might be hard to take when they have quite so many soldiers. But I also can't leave the Hornburg just in my rear and, like, just try and, like, go forward or something, because then I'll be in the same position, but in reverse, where the troops from Hornburg could try and stop me from taking, like, Edoras or something. Orders. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> what to do? Okay, so what I've done is I've moved Waka's army up, not so much so that it's actually holding Hornburg under siege, but somewhere reasonably close by, and what we'll do is we'll have our scout see what the enemy is up to next turn. Like, do they charge forward and try and stop us? In which case, maybe it would be better to fight them in the open field than to try and fight them in the Hornburg. At the same time, they could probably bring up quite a lot of troops, but we do have spearmen to meet their cavalry this time. And if they actually decide to attack us for what, you know, <laughs> in, as a as a reverse of what normally happens when I'm the one who attacks them. 
what we can do is actually have them come to us this time and actually make good use of our spearmen and not have to rely so heavily on our cavalry. Yes, yes this archer unit just came up from Dunfreca. I was basically just kind of sending them around here. That way we can give him an extra archer unit too. Maybe I should actually be prepping some more cavalry units. I can't get any more Riders of the Eisenmarch because I don't have a good enough settlement here or a good enough, uh, what is it, uh, barracks, military development. Yeah, I think I have to make it a major province and then build this building here in order to get them. Yeah, it has to be the, the highest building, I think. Yeah. All right, but anyway, um, that should actually be it for the battles then this turn. So I will simply bring you guys back as more of interest occurs. Okay, guys, welcome back. So Kuga's army just needs one more unit of cavalry and then he'll be moving on. Actually, he's already partially kind of moved up there because I know that the cavalry can still reach him if they get somewhere around here anyways. So we've already started him on the way to Dunfada. And he'll still have two spaces left in his army, so I might just fill them up with a couple of Dunlending mercenaries once the cavalry joins them, too. And so then he'll start his attack down south over there. Now, this archer unit here was traveling by itself, and it was actually intercepted by one of these Rohirrim units. And so we did manage to shoot a couple of the units pretty good. Managed to kill just over a hundred of their guys, but as you can see, they killed just over a hundred of our guys, too. And so basically what I had them do, well, actually, they retreated on their own to the outpost of Dol Baran because it was the Rohirrim who attacked them on their turn. And remember, we had all those spearmen there, so we had them come up here and join them along with another archer unit from Dunfreca. And this horseman unit came from Dunkriak, I believe, so... No longer, they won't be able to just send a single unit or, you know, two or three cavalry units over here. They'll have to send a few more, methinks. But as you can see, they've also decided to surround Waka's army with, like, three smaller forces. This is the force that attacked our lone archer unit, and then there's just two other, I guess, just random forces here. They have more troops that they could throw up here, too, as well as the guys from the Hornburg. I'm not sure really what the plan here is for them. Like, why why surround his army with, like, just, like, these three smaller armies? I would think maybe they would have taken troops from the Hornburg, merged these forces, and maybe attacked him, but I guess not. So what we are going to do, since it is now our turn, I think I'm going to actually try and have them attack this force here. I don't know if they'll stand and fight... I guess if they do, they'll technically be by themselves, and maybe we can escape the zone of control of these units and maybe destroy one or two of them. But let's start by trying to attack this force here. And they're happy to attack. Okay. Well, defend, I should say. All right, so yes, a mostly cavalry force in the front here and a mostly infantry force, which should be on our eastern flank. But let's just jump right into the battle. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. So you can see the initial force that we attacked is over there, and it looks like they may even start retreating towards that hill. We have our spearmen actually facing that direction, and then we have most of our infantry facing this direction, because I thought the enemy would be coming from more or less over here. I guess it's somewhat close, because they're actually coming from over here. Here's their reinforcements. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the infantry that were over here on this side, and we're going to have them turn and face the Rohirrim in this direction. In fact, I may even just have the archers join them as well. Our cavalry will just kind of sit... Just behind them over here. Then what I'll do is, since I put all of my spearmen facing the enemy on the hill over there, I'll just kind of have them move over here, just so that they can intercept them if they start charging down the hill over here. Then we'll have our 
Wolf Hunters just kind of stand between the two forces and they can run in whatever direction the enemy decides to go. So, off you all go. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to come down here? No, it looks like you're going to stay on that hill. Honestly, if we do need to dislodge them from that hill, I think it would be better to come around this way anyways. Because then it's not so steep a hill. Though, apparently, I've once again hit the edge of the map here. Because I can't go any further in that direction. So, eh, that still might be a good way to get up there. I guess we'll find out later. Now, over here, we should just have two units of cavalry. Or, wait, is it two units? No, no, I think it's one unit of cavalry and two spears. So, we should be able to eliminate them quickly enough. As long as that other force doesn't actually try to interfere in any way, we should be fine. Unless, what are they going to do? Are they thinking they're going to, like, join... Join their, their, their friends over there on that hill? Maybe not, because now they've turned to face us. Whoa, hold on a second. We appear to be firing into the rear of our own guys here. Which is not ideal. Did I hear them say flee? Are they running? Grr. They're retreating, aren't they? I think they are. They're just retreating. Alright, well, I know from past experience that even if these are just, like, weak spearman units, they're still actually good enough to take on my cavalry. So, what we'll do is we're just going to have the Dunlundish horsemen step forward and throw javelins at them. Maybe we could break this one unit using just the javelins? And then the horsemen can go ahead and engage them. Okay, and the entire other force has already left the battlefield by the look of it. Oh, is this the edge of the battlefield right here? Oh, no. No, it isn't. Oh, that's weird. For some reason, my camera can't go over there. Oh, wait. The unit has left the battle. <laughs> okay, that was a little weird. All right. Hooray. We managed to kill a hundred of them. I was kind of hoping that they would stick around for a little while longer. Yes, we managed to kill... Eight of our own guys? I guess we shot them in the rear with our archers. A little unfortunate. All right, but back to the campaign map. All right, so it looks like... I think one of the armies managed to get back into the Hornburg. The other unit just kind of... Or yeah, this is the army that just kind of passed through us, I guess. And again, heading back towards the Hornburg. I don't click on my army. Now, I can't reach them, though. I think I have to attack this force, which I assume they'll just retreat once I do. Now, here's an interesting question, though. Well, you know, at first, let's let's attack this this unit first, or this army first. Victory! All right, and you see, now we're kind of stuck here at this position. So, I think what we could do now is attack this force here again, and it would draw out the garrison of the Hornburg, which... <laughs> I don't know if that's desirable or not. <laughs> I mean, it's better than fighting them in the Hornburg, admittedly, but at the same time, 
That's a large force, and they'll have all of this cavalry, too, to join them and help them out. Yikes! But at the same time, the forces here aren't going to get any smaller. So, like, if I just refuse to engage them, then I might as well just pack up and go home, because what, what am I supposed to do otherwise? And I guess I do have more troops here, so if we do lose, like, a bunch of our spearmen units, for example, against their cavalry, we could replace them. But what if it's a disaster and we lose, like, the whole army or something? Hmm. Good question. Very good question. All right. Uh, obviously, they decided to fight. There's, I don't see why they wouldn't. And I guess worst comes to worst, we could retreat, and this time we need to keep ourselves in a position where retreating is actually possible, because we can't lose the entirety of this army. And we lose a certain number of them, and, you know, casualties, sure, but not all of them, or even remotely all of them. So, let's go ahead and down to the campaign, or er, battle map. Battle map. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. And once again, the enemy has very wisely positioned their main force over by where the reinforcements are coming in. They also seem to be rushing to stand up on that hill. I've got my own forces arrayed on a hill over here as well, and apparently... Is the map... Are the maps in this game, like, small or something? Because it seems like no matter where I go, I'm always brushing up against the edge of the map. Now, I wonder what they're going to do... It would be nice if we could get them to attack us, but I think, uh, probably not. Now, they don't actually have any archer cavalry, at least in the main force. I can't remember if they did in the other force. Dang, maybe I should have sent my Dunlending horsemen to try and lure them over here first. Well, they do seem to be moving somewhat forward, but I imagine they're just, like, forming up their lines and they'll stop somewhere over here. And it'll be up to me to actually go and get them. All except for... I mean, this cavalry unit seems to be moving awfully far forward. Actually, so do many of these infantry units. Oh wait, and just as I say that, they turn around and they start heading the other direction. All right, but I guess regardless, it looks like we're just going to go to and fro for a bit, so I'll just bring you guys back once battle is joined. Okay, guys, welcome back. We've kind of moved off our hill over here, and as you can see, the enemy is now looking like they may be more interested in offering battle. We will see here, but anyway, we've got... Our spearmen are actually just behind... The, I guess, Axemen infantry. So I'm, and the reason for that is just because they have a lot of spears to throw. So I'm hoping that they can kind of support them and throw spears over their heads, basically, to kind of engage the enemy. I think, is this, is this really still the edge of the map right here? Must be. Well, I guess technically we're kind of covered on this flank then. I'd say kind of. Maybe what I should do is actually have one of the swordsman units just kind of plug that gap over there. And I think what we'll do is we'll have this spearman unit just kind of sit over here like this. While we have this unit kind of form up over here. Okay, archers. Stop firing because I think you're actually hitting my guys. There, go ahead. <laughs> Unleash all of the spears that you can. Wait, are the... 
Oh, the spearmen actually... Wait a minute. No, they don't. I thought the spearmen almost counted as, like, some kind of, um... Skirmisher unit. Ooh, they're obliterating some of those units. Nothing which is what we want. Our warriors would die rather than run. Keep throwing your spears. Where are these guys? Okay, these guys are actually spearmen. Yes, return fire! Okay, we are running out of... ...arrows, though, so why don't you spearmen charge forward into those guys there? Oh, wow. Those guys were basically eliminated. It's the mercenaries. The Dunlending mercenaries are the ones who have, like, some kind of skirmish ability. Okay, spearmen get forward. Axemen charge forward. You guys also charge. archers get up here because I think I need them to actually fire on those guys as they retreat there. Oh. Um, how many of these guys are mine? A few of them, actually. You guys get back here. The enemy warlord flees from our warriors. Attack and drive them back in the same way. Let's get our cavalry out here and keep some of these units fleeing. So that we can turn around and attack some of these guys. Attack. 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 The warlord of the enemy army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him! Goats make good eating! Okay, let's see. Are you guys guard mode? You are. Alright, well, get over here and stop being in guard mode. them from the battle! See, do we have another cavalry unit that can come over here and help? I've got my infantry, but I don't know if they'll get there in time. Well, I guess that answers my question. No. 
a coward chase. All right, catch them. Come on, catch them. Okay, and you caught them. Excellent. So now you guys don't fire. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just hit my own guys if they even would manage to catch them. All right, those guys have made it off the battlefield. Oh, we've got some mounted skirmishers over here. All right. Problem is, is that the colors of the icons don't actually look all that different from each other. All right, well, that was quite a battle. And these are all my own units. Okay. I think the battle is just about over. There might be a unit of theirs. Actually, ah, there is one right over there. Now, I assume we're not actually going to take the Hornburg. Basically, it'll now be stocked with survivors of this battle. However many there are. But how bad were our casualties? It's not horrific, just eyeballing it here. Still, I had no idea that these guys counted as skirmishers, and so they would actually just retreat back. All right, now that's more like it. Look at all of those kills compared to what we lost. Let's see, the Axemen got like 200, the Wolf Hunters got 200, 100. The tribal Spearmen slaughtered their way through. Very nice, very nice. I think they took the most casualties too. Actually, the Axemen did. Dunlundish Axemen. The Mercenaries were more or less as gave as good as they got. But they did retreat, because <laughs> they skirmished backwards. Uh, I was like, wait a minute, do my spearmen have, like, a skirmish ability? Because that's what I thought had happened. But it was like, no, it was the mercenaries that did. Very confusing for that to happen in the middle of the battle. Luckily, I didn't lose any more of, or very little of my cavalry, I guess. Since they had already been pretty badly damaged. But they managed to catch a bunch of the guys, too, which is grand. Bowman did pretty well. Yeah, I'd say everyone did pretty well all around. All right, well, let's take this back to the campaign map. All right, back on the campaign map. We are going to save immediately in case something horrific happens. But still, all right, so, I mean, they have a bunch of units, but they are many of them, actually all of them, quite badly beaten up. So before they can you know, try and reinforce their position. Let's go ahead and besiege the place. Yeah, let's not do... Let's not go overboard here. I think three siege towers should be enough. I think. Can I fit a battering ram? Uh, maybe I should try... Oh, okay. Mm. I believe... I could be wrong about this, but I believe the Hornburg has a special battle map. I imagine it does. Pretty sure it does. I, I hope that will be all we need there. Settlement under siege. All right, so now let's take a look and see if we can spot any more Rohan forces. Obviously, they've got this bit here. They could certainly try and attack us, though I don't think it would end well for them if they did. In fact, I'd say we just broke a significant portion of Rohan's military. Certainly their military up here in the north, anyway. So if we can just build up that siege equipment and then take the Hornburg next turn, I would actually be pretty happy. I didn't think it would go quite that well. All right, but anyway, that is... Let's see. Yes, that is the only battle we had to fight this turn, or battles. That was a couple battles, wasn't it? That was the only couple of battles we had to fight this turn, so I will bring you guys back as more of interest occurs.